I'm in Indiana, so like Central. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm gonna pretend like I know. I have no <laughs> I'm right, right by Chicago. You know Chicago. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. so I'm supposed to be coming to the states in the next two months for the first time. Okay. I mean, I've never done. I've never done an interview before, but I'd love to have a conversation with you on my channel. The funny thing is, in the past, in just over two weeks, I've gone from 4K subscribers to, I think I'm on like 74K now. I saw that. It's insane. You need to, you need to get on YouTube as well, because you were dropping content on there. Yeah. I I was, because I saw, I'm like, you went from 4 to 50, and now it's 74, and I'm like, (laughs) man, he's figured something out here. Yeah, yeah. All in, all in the space of just over two weeks. It's it's, wow. it's insane. Yeah. Wait, what what part of the what part of the states are you coming to? I believe um, Miami, Florida, and then okay. Atlanta. Because one of my friends, um, she's due to be getting married out there, and then in Atlanta, I believe there's a festival called Invest Fest with okay. like. Yeah so on and so forth. So I think I'll, I'll be doing that. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, when you figure it out, you let me know the dates and I will, I'll either come to Atlanta or I'll come to Miami. We'll sit down and we'll, we'll collab on some stuff. Cause I feel like this, these are the conversations that people have been waiting for. hundred <laughs> percent. Because it's, the irony of it is whenever people get interviewed, such as ourselves, it's like more often than not, even though the person interviewing us can understand what we're saying, they're not on the same frequency to really be able to go back and forth in a particular way. It's more like you answer a question and they're like, damn, and that's it. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah like, right, right. No back and forth. I feel like if we got on something, we're just going to a rabbit hole of just stuff that yeah, just never yeah. ends. That I'm, I'm, so I'm, I, full transparency, I'm going to do uh, an ayahuasca ceremony. No way what 10 days yeah so that, less than two weeks and i'm doing two back to back and i'm going with the intention like i want to figure out not only figure out, i already know it conceptually but like i want to be able to articulate how exactly how, how the metaphysical world comes to be physical how the wave collapses to a particle and then crystallizes and freezes and then be able to teach it to like a five-year-old literally so, literally the yeah. way that the way that I always help people conceptualize it is thinking of consciousness like steam. Steam and ice are the same energy. The only difference is their vibratory sure. rate. Essentially, what we do with our minds is to just freeze our imagination in the world. That's yeah. literally it. That's it, man. Yeah, yeah, man. We uh, yeah, we got we got to figure something out here. No, nah, definitely. Definitely. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you up, okay. but I don't want to take up too okay. much of your time. Please talk to everybody else, and I'm gonna hit you up personally. Okay, sounds good, man. Good talking, Nero. It's an honor. Thank you. You have such a good day. Have a, such a good day to everybody. Thank you. All right. Thank you. See you, man. So, uh, inv- I never heard of Invest Fest. I've never heard of Invest Fest. I love Nero though. Nero Knowledge. This is um, he's he's amazing. He is amazing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out a way to me and him to sit down and have a high level conversation and, and just put a camera, set a camera up because I'm sure you all would. You would be would be thoroughly entertained, and your expansion of consciousness would be, uh, yeah, yeah, it would it would happen, All right? So let's see here. Um, somebody asked me a question here. I'm gonna open this up so you can ask it. Go ahead. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm so good. Thank you for allowing me to sure. join. Sure, of course. I knew you had a question. Yeah, and it's perfect with what just sure. happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no no coincidence no. um i've been on this journey of wanting to learn about jesus christ sure. as a human mm. not as my savior like i was taught sure. um, and one of the things that keeps coming up for me is i know the stories of him throwing the tables you know in the temples and and i've i've come to the point at at this point that he, one of the things that he did very well was hold people accountable. Mm. I'm learning that accountability is one of the highest forms, if not the highest form of love. And I know you're huge into this, right? So that's how I view that piece. But then the other piece is I've been learning is he's this um, man who's overcome his ego and Mm. shown us what we are able to do and capable of. But when he, 
he was on the cross, like he was so much in his heart that he was able to forgive his murderers as they were murdering him. Sure, sure. And so he has this softness and this grace and this beautiful, um, unconditional love. Sure. And as I'm learning about both pieces of it, there's something that is conflicting. And, and I, I, I'm like, well, which one is it? Does he hold people accountable? Is he just this masculine man that's like mm. holding people accountable? Or is he this, and maybe he's both, and, and I'm sure he is both, right? Because we have the polarity of both pieces. Sure. Um, but I'd love to hear you talk on that more specifically and how you view Jesus Christ and our ability to um, become like him. Yeah, yeah. so... First of all, a great question, right? This is this is what I wanted to know um, growing up, and um, the first thing we have to understand is that a sacred text such as the Bible, um, it's sacred not in the sense that it's holy; it's sacred in the sense that it's timeless. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it's timeless it's because it's written on so many different levels of consciousness. Okay. okay. So for, so, for example, the Bible was written on seven different levels of consciousness. It was written on uh, the astronomical, uh, metaphysical, the geometrical, uh, uh, the mystical. So it, I could read one thing, and there's literally going to be seven different meanings to mm -hmm. it, right? So this is, this is what we, we don't get taught in the Western world. So we think like, oh, well, it's about the man. Okay, yes, that was one side of it. But then there's also seven layers. And when you understand all of the layers, then you'll have the whole picture of what it was actually saying. So I always tell people, you better understand Jesus when you better understand the mind. Because one of the layers was they were personifying the human psyche. And they were using characters as metaphors for the psyche, right? If you look at, we have mind that splits itself off into what we refer to as the ego and then we have the soul right so we have the spiritual plane the mental plane the physical plane stay with me because i'm gonna start teaching you some stuff okay. spirit mind body but then the mind fragments and splits itself so now we have the soul and we have the ego right but it's still on the mind soul is closest to spirit spirit is self-knowing it's all-knowing it knows everything already the ego though to the physical plane so it projects into the physical plane it's attached to the physical plane whereas the soul is more attached to spirit mm, okay so when we start understanding that the ego is what separated us from our divinity that was up here this is the adversary and this is why they called it in hebrew the hasatan right this is what we call satan yeah. if you look at the bible when when jesus saw satan he said said prince of the world where have you been ego was the prince of the world or the princess of the world it's attached to worldly things okay. so when we start looking at the story of yeshua ben yosef instead of looking at it as it being a literal man they're personifying human psyche or human consciousness with him representing the top half that is closer to the father mm. the only only thing that separated him from his work or stopped him or was his adversary was the ego, also known as Hasatan or Satan. So the reason why you so you have to you have to understand how the ego works. The ego always operates in duality. Okay. It says good or bad, bad right, mm -hmm. wrong, gay or straight. It creates separation. Well, that's the complete opposite of our divine nature. Yeah. It's only oneness. So Jesus was able to be this divine divine being and be human because there was enough consciousness there was enough awareness for him to realize what he was he wasn't this he knew he was this so this is why he said i can speak on behalf of the father he knew who he was there was no separation between him and anyone else he could go to the woman of the well he could pr protect the adulterer he would heal the leper here's the important part when you, you have this level of consciousness this level of awareness of your ego, you, you won't view yourself separate from even your 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 enemies. Yeah. So you, you will see that they are just unaware. Mm -hmm. They don't know what they are. They think that they are this. Father, forgive them, meaning accept them supremely, cosmically accept them for they know, they don't, they're like children. They don't know what they're doing. Here's the thing about accountability, okay? 
accountability is how you move from living out of this to this. Huh. Okay. I have to, I have to be accountable to realize that every perspective that the ego is holding on to is actually being done by me. I'm doing this. So accountability leads to being intentional. When you're intentional, now you can do your life's work. You can do whatever you desire, whatever you ask for, you can believe that you already received it because you're being intentional with your mind, with your tool that you use to create. So this is where like, Jesus couldn't be the victim. Even when they came for him in, in the garden, when they came to get him and Judas turned him in, he couldn't be the victim yeah. because you can't be the victim when you're being accountable. So when I'm being accountable, I'm not gonna say, oh no, they're coming to get me, they're gonna kill me. They're making me carry my own cross. He's gonna say, no, I'm gonna carry my own cross. And if y'all gonna roll with me, I suggest y'all do the same thing, meaning kill your ego consciously move towards the parts of you that you are unconscious of so can i ask a follow-up to that yes sir so <laughs> accountability has been my theme this year and mm. <laughs> that like just brought a whole new perspective on it so thank you sure with the story of christ turning the tables over in the temple yeah. how does that play into this Christ's role of doing that and, and showing up in that way play into what you are just teaching. So the story, the story of him being in the, uh, what do you call it? Like town center or courts or whatever, where essentially these tax collectors were basically taking money from people, right? And he, he taxes, but him flipping the tables, we look at it from an egoic state and say, why is he being so angry? Why is he being so, it was the intent behind it that is what matters. It's like when you do stuff for people, right? If I, if I, sometimes I gotta tell my kids no, sometimes I gotta tell family members no. I'm not doing it from a place of being mean. The intention is to help you, to snap you out of it, to wake up. Hey, this won't work for you. Try something different. So I always looked at that, interpreted it as him flipping the table it's almost like when I have to raise my voice sometimes with my kids, I'm not mad at you. I'm not angry. I just have to go to the next level so you can see the importance of what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell you all, but you're not getting it. So I go to the next level. Exactly. Now you got it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. But, but the way our ego works, operates in duality. So it has to project goodness or badness. It has to project rightness or wrongness. So we'll look at Jesus' behavior and be like, yeah, but why would he do that? With the tone of that was wrong. I thought he was supposed to be this benevolent and Christ-like. No, it's, it, it isn't good. It isn't bad. It's, I just look at everything in terms of energy. I got to go to the next level because you all aren't getting what I'm saying. It's what was necessary to there you go. and to get them out of their programmed. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Thank of course, you so much. Of course. Accountability is, I will tell you this in, in, in closing, accountability is your greatest ability. However accountable you are, your life will correspond exactly to it. Yeah. I, I'm experiencing so, it on a whole nother level. So thank you. And yes. I just just joined your community like, like a week ago. Amazing. So I'm amazing. To be a part of it. Well, well, welcome. Welcome. We're glad to have you. <laughs> thank you. All right. Appreciate you. Thank you. Bye. So we, um, a lot of people don't realize that all of these books are always pertaining to you. And I'm not going to get into it right now, but we talk about this as a community, DG Mindset community, comment community right now, join the community. It's free for your first 30 days. It is free. It is free. It is free. It is free for your first 30 days. Somebody said, yeah, but they asked for my credit card information. Yeah, that's because on the 31st day, you're going to get charged $20 for your, your monthly membership. Okay, well, get out of it. So um oh thank you for the for the badge thank you thank you uh kayla um comment community though get in the get in the community join dg mind fest um that's coming up soon any more other questions here what do we got here okay i already know i already know who this is i know who this is let's see if you're here miss denise are you there you caught me off guard okay <laughs> 
<laughs> I was running my mouth and I seen he accepted your request. I'm like, oh my goodness. Well, of how, course. How are you? I am great. I'm great today. It's my birthday. I'm Happy excited. Birthday, but I'm at work. Yeah, I'm at work. But I didn't come on for a question. I just actually came on for a testimony to allow others to see how far I've come with being in the community. <clears throat> So, of course, you didn't know, but um, back in the beginning when I joined, I was going through something. I was, I had an attachment to someone, and we had a really bad fallout, and um, for six months, I was in a rabbit hole. Like, I was begging and pleading and talking and just trying to explain myself, which allowed me to know that I had an attachment. So, being in the community with the ladies, you know, they helped me through it, and I got through it, and me and my friend several times however here recently i allowed her back in and she did the exact same thing she did the first time of course however <laughs> it didn't send me back down that rabbit hole it did in the beginning like the first two days i went in the rabbit hole then i said what the hell what are you doing we're not doing this you know, allowed okay. that to wow. go on about its business. So it just let me know that being in this community, I've came a long wow. way because it really, really, really was bad for me. I mean, Lily, Ruthann, Maurice, everybody helped me through that. Amazing. And I'm sure that they wouldn't have even wanted me to turn back and go back, but I did. Mm -hmm. And it was just good. It was a, a very good experience. So I just came as a testimony to yeah. know that it works. All you have to do is believe. All you have to do is listen. All you have to do is apply these things, and they will work. I mean, they yeah. will make you question sometimes, like, okay, am I doing the right thing, this, that, and the other? But, yeah, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's really, really a beautiful thing. That's what we call the GRM. <laughs> a GRM, it's a growth a growth recognition moment she just came back in your life so you could see for yourself the evolution that had taken place and you were able to see how much you've grown because of it so, listen oh. so she canceled my trip to aruba i was sick about that okay I, I, that's what sent me down the rabbit hole mm. i said that's fine because guess what it made me redirect that money mm. now i'm going to dg mindset come on now come on now <laughs> come on now so it lets me know where i needed to be that's yes. all i wasn't wow. supposed to be on that trip i yeah. was supposed to go another way yeah so you know it, it's a beautiful thing but i want to go to tulum i didn't see this I haven't had time to be in a community. I'm in mm. class. I'm mm. at work five days a week, 12-hour shifts. So I try to pop in and pop on when I can. But I miss my ladies. Like, I need yeah. that energy. Yeah, so. sure. sure. Well, you're, you're in a season right now of, of uh, you're planting a lot of seeds and you're tilling a lot of soil. So sometimes we, we, we're planting and sometimes we're getting the <laughs> harvest. So just trust the season that you're in. You'll, you'll be on a retreat here at some point. Oh, absolutely. I'm trusting the season because I finally found someone to do my labels. Mm. So once I get okay. the labels back and then I submit my stuff to FDA, like it's a go from there. So uh, I'm you, I'm excited. Good. I'm just slow okay. and steady. Good. Well, you keep going, Denise. You know, we're, we're in the back. We're in the back like this saying, go. <laughs> Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you for hopping on and, and sharing that. And you are, uh, you keep going. Absolutely. Have a All great right. day. All right. You too. Okay, I'll see you. Bye. Oh, man. This is, she's, Denise is the best. Comment community, join the DG Mindset community. I'm telling you. Um, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Police Officer, thank you. I, I'm going to tell you this, guys. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave you with this, and I got to get ready to go. I got to call. I got to get on. I ask myself, why do I do what I do? Right? What do I? Why do I do it? Why? And I'm. And I truly, I sat down and asked, what is? What is the goal? What is your? What is the destination? What are you looking to do? And make it as simple as possible. So if you had to tell somebody why you do it, you would be able to tell. Right. So here's here's what I came to. Denise said it best. She's like, if you just stick with it, it works. I remember when life sucked. I remember when I didn't want to live anymore. I remember when I questioned 
Like, what's the point of me even being here anymore? Because life was so terrible. I remember that. It wasn't very long ago. It was 2019, 2020. It was not long. It was four years ago, five years ago. And I told myself, I'm going to give myself 90 days. That's it. I got 90 days to see if this works. I'm reading all these books. I'm listening to all this stuff. It's like, yeah, 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 whatever. All right. I ordered Esther Hicks and all that. And I'm asking you, show whatever. I'm like, all right, yeah. I said, I'm going to give myself 90 days. And 90 days is going to be the end of it. If it doesn't work, we're done. If it works, I'll keep going. Within those 90 days, every day, and it was hard. Hear me when I say it. it was not easy. It was hard. I woke up every day and I said, I'm going to be intentional with my mind. I'm going to be intentional with my perspective. I'm going to journal. I don't even know how to journal. I'm going to meditate. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to do everything that I've been reading and I've been being told to do. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. And lo and behold, things changed. And all of a sudden, over time, I started to like understand and get all this information and remember, right? So I looked at my whole life at the time. I think I was like 35, 36 years old. I said, 90 days is nothing from 36 years, 36 years. But if it works, what would the next 36 years, how many years look like, right? So here's my point. My goal, my intention is to give you all, all of the tools. So there will be no excuse as to why you couldn't do what you wanted to do, why you could not become who you wanted to become. I feel an obligation. I feel like I have this understanding, I have this awareness. I'm not any better than anybody, but if I have this stuff, why don't I figure out a way to break it down, crunch it down, and then give it to somebody so they can go ahead and do it? But here's the deal. That's why I told, I told the young ladies on here, you got to be accountable for your own life, right? We'll say that 90 days is too long, but then we'll be complaining when we, when we ain't happy, when we're not miserable. Ain't nobody going to come get you. Ain't nobody going to come save you. Ain't nobody going to come. Ain't nobody going to do it before you do it for yourself. So there's a level of accountability that must be there. If you are willing to be accountable for your own life, your life I'm talking about your emotions. I'm talking about your perspective. I'm talking about your mindset. I'm talking about your happiness. If you are willing to be accountable for yourself, there is no thing that you cannot do in life. Nothing. As the kids would say, no cap. I don't care if you want to play in the NBA. I don't care if you want to be a billionaire. If you understand the power of the human spirit of the mind, there is nothing you can't do. Here's the question I started to ask myself. Y'all about to make me start preaching. I didn't want to start preaching, but here we go. I have big goals, big dreams, big Mount Everest, whatever, big, right? And there's days when I don't feel like doing it. There's days when I'm like, man, I'm tired, man. I, got... I ask myself, okay, are you tired? Yes. Are you willing to do this, though? Are you willing? Are you willing? Are you? Hear the word will. Will is willpower. Willpower is a faculty of your mind that allows you to steer your thinking. However I think will be how I feel. However I feel will determine how I behave. How I behave, I will carry out actions. My actions will yield the results. So as long as I'm willing, meaning I have enough mental fortitude, enough perseverance to hold my mind where I want to, I can go wherever I want to, where I want to go in life. And I'm, I'm just saying it to you all that are on here right now. I was raised, I just, <laughs> me and my wife's had a conversation the other day. My son's AAU team that I'm coaching, we had five players and we were playing up against a sixth grade team and we lost by one. And I'm like, man, there's no, man. She's like, yeah, but they're younger than they are. They're smaller than they are. You only had five people. There's no subs. They were tired. But here's, here's what I, the way my mind works. There's no excuse. We were there. We were there. Because the moment that I bring in an excuse, guess what I'm doing? I'm being a victim. And if I'm being a victim, I'm not being accountable. Accountability says I'm taking care of everything that I need to take care of. I'm looking myself in the mirror and saying, yeah, these things happened to me when I was young. Yeah, I had some trauma. Yeah, I had some things that happened. But I'm not going to walk around here and identify with those things anymore. These will be experiences that have happened. That's what accountability does. That's what being intentional does. It allows you to pull yourself out of this lower vibration. And once you move out of it, now you can start to create because you have more energy. You can literally go and do whatever you want. But that's hard. That's hard for a lot of us because I've identified with these past narratives. I've identified with these things that have happened. I hear me when I say this. I'm sensitive to everything that everyone has always, everyone, everyone uh, has experienced. You've gone through something. We've 
we're all going through something. But I started to realize, don't sit in it. That was just a situation that happened that wasn't who you are. You have the ability to shift your perspective as long as you're being accountable that this is just a situation. I'm holding on to the perspective of it. I'm holding on to the story. I'm holding on to the narrative. Hello, this was me. So I'm saying this to you all. I'm encouraging you all to be accountable with your life, be intentional with your life. The matrix is set up so you don't be accountable. So you're not intentional. If you look at it, this is why everything is so, uh, should we get to the point now where I don't even have to think. I don't even have to think anymore. I can just go type it on chat GPT and go to AI. AI will do all of the thinking. It will literally do everything. I can just, I don't have to get out and go do anything. I can just order on my phone, blah, blah, blah. Like the matrix is set up for you to dumb down and not have accountability. And if you're not accountable, you can't be intentional. And guess what? If you're intention, if you're not intentional, you're going to be yoked around life. So my point of this is for you all, I'm tr trying to give you your power back that you've always had. Always had it. You will always have it. There is nothing someone can do to take it away. All that's happening is we're giving it away because we never got told where it was hiding. So everything in this universe already has everything encoded inside of it. Complete, right? Nothing is made incomplete. Absolutely nothing. Zero. You may not uh, have realized it yet, but it doesn't mean that it's not inside of you, right? The, the caterpillar wasn't the butterfly, but it had everything inside of it to become the butterfly. It didn't have to say like, oh, dang, let me see if I can figure out a way to No, It already had it. It just had to continue to go through these processes and these systems through this, this journey in life. This is the hero's journey. You will slow start to unlock all of these things but you can't unlock if you're not accountable so when people ask me how did you how do you know all this how did you learn all this i'm gonna say it straight I, I put my mind to it and say here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna figure out me i'm gonna learn me i'm gonna figure out why i struggle with x y and z i'm going to do it i'm not going to depend on somebody else i can use somebody else as a resource i can use somebody else's teachings but at the end of the day i gotta do it I gotta apply it. Do we see how this works? So accountability will allow you to be intentional. And here's the thing, you'll know when you're being accountable because it hurts, it stings, it's uncomfortable. It is not, not it does not feel good. <laughs> Why? Because the ego doesn't want to be accountable. Because in order to be an, accountable, I would have to be conscious. I would have to be aware. And that is the complete opposite of the ego. The ego operates through unawareness. So this is why when we start looking at our system, right? We start looking at our school system. We start looking at the Food and Drug Administration. We start looking at government. You start looking at all of these things. It will set up for you to be asleep, to be unaware. I'm not saying this is like, oh, well, you got to wake up. No, it's not that. All I'm saying is if you're accountable with your life, your mind, there's nothing you can't do. Nothing. But in order to do that, you're going to have to look at your demons. So, um, sorry for that rant. I apologize for that. But, uh, yeah. At what age did I start working on myself? Great question. What age did I start working on myself? I'm 41. I've always been working on myself, but it wasn't until I was probably 36, 37 that I consciously started to work on myself. Consciously. Consciously consciously hear me when i say this there's a difference between working on yourself and there's a difference between w doing it consciously i've been working on myself i would read books here and there right i would listen to motivational speeches i would do all of these things but it wasn't until i said here's what we're going to do and i mapped out a plan you're going to read this book and you're going to take notes and you're gonna highlight. And after you highlight, I want you to put those in your computer. And when you put them in the computer, you're gonna take time to study what you just read. And you're gonna retain that information. And then once you retain it, you're gonna figure out a way to apply it. You see? So I'm 30, I'm 41 right now. I started when I was 36, 37. Uh, I'd say by the time I'm probably, what is it, 40, 42. I'd say by the time I'm 44. By the time I'm 44, uh, life will, look completely different and it's looked differently now but i'm talking about it like on a mass level so i would be able to help people i would be able to help the world on a level like that has never been seen before so uh, uh 
uh, how do I consciously stay consistent with continuing to face yourself when there are moments that could discourage you? You said a word in there, discourage, discourage, discourage. That means without courage. There is one energy, there is one vibration that is needed. It is courage. You need courage to be accountable. If I'm gonna be accountable, I gotta have the energy of courage. Here's what the energy of courage says. The energy of courage says, I'm going to figure out a way. I'm going to figure out a way. Four years ago, when I didn't know how I was going to make ends meet, I didn't realize that I did have enough courage to say, I'm going to figure out how to do this. If you can have enough, if you can have courage, that's the waterline. If you look at Dr. David Hawkins' scale of consciousness, that's the waterline. That's the middle. If I can get my, if I can just do this, now I can breathe. If I don't have courage, I'm going to be right here. So it's about having courage and reminding yourself, I'm going to figure this out. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care what it feels like. I'm going to figure this out. If someone threw you out in the ocean and you could not see land and all they said was land is in that direction, courage would be the thing that would allow you to keep swimming. So courage was what helped me to be accountable. But then I also made a contract with myself. I made a contract, okay? I, I told myself, I don't know what... I'm going to leave here, but we're going to figure this out. <laughs> what is it? 50 Cent came out with a movie. I think he came out with an album called Get Rich or Die Trying. I said, I'm going to figure this out or I'm going to die trying. I'm going to figure out how to live life and enjoy it instead, instead of just sitting here being yoked around. You see? So we... We, this is, you know, I'm letting y'all inside of my mind right now. Uh, you said we need a raft when we start swimming. You don't need a raft. You don't need a raft. Because if you need a raft, you're going to drown. You see how this works? When every time we say, this is the ego saying, I need a raft. I need a help. I need something. No, you have been equipped with everything. Just start the journey. Because if we need, we're attached to it. If we're attached to it, we're the victim of it. You see, this is where I, this is one thing I'm, I'm fortunate because I was isolated. I didn't, I didn't know anything. I didn't even know what a spiritual awakening was and i was having a spiritual wake i didn't even know what it was I'm like, man, what the fuck is going on with me what is it i just told myself we're gonna have to figure this out we're gonna have to be we're gonna have to figure this out we're gonna have to do this there's nobody coming to get you nobody don't nobody, nobody care you can't pay your bills don't nobody care that you're miserable don't nobody care that you're suicidal don't nobody give a don't nobody care you gonna have to figure this out d what you gonna do what you gonna do what you gonna do d you see your back's against the wall and now you know no one's coming to save you what do you do you get to swimming if i know i'm not getting a raft i gotta swim i know nobody's coming to get you nobody is going to come and save me before i start to save myself and this is where the this is where the base the basic principle of electromagnetic magnetism comes in right I know nobody cares. I know nobody's going to come save me before I save myself. So that's why I have to start caring more for myself. I got to start being more accountable for myself. And here's what the universe does. Here's what life does, right? It matches your energy. So here's the deal. Like, you, what's the, 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 the goal and the rule? Treat others the way you want to be treated. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Because that, the way you treat others is the way you treat yourself the way you treat yourself. But here's what we won't do. We won't take time to be aware of how we treat ourselves. So we're focused on every, hey, are you are you good? Hey, what's up? Hey, what are you? But when you go back home, what do we do? I hate myself, I'm so fat, I'm so ugly, I'm so stupid. I never have enough money. We, you see, we wouldn't dare say it to anybody else, but we'll say it to ourselves. You are the micro of whatever macro civilization you're part of, whether it's your family, whether it's community, whether it's, the, the micro had to be whole in order for the macro to be whole. But we get told, oh, this is selfish. This is individualistic culture. This is the, wait, what? I, I ain't got control over you. I don't have control over you. I don't have control over you, but I do have control over me. How, how about I figure out me? How about I get myself to the best version of me? And then guess what? That will be what I project onto you. Do we, do we see how this works? So, uh, Intentional. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Be intentional. I talked to talk about because I'm gonna talk about this here, uh, this community, the power hour this Friday, right? 
this Friday, Power Hour. Comment community, join the community. I have live talks like this. I'm going to break down accountability and money. Accountability and money. We're going to use accountability in the spiritual world. And we're going to figure out how to do it with our finances so everybody can have the freedom that they're seeking. What is your suggestion for someone who has a father, a narcissist, or a sort of a mother, borderline, you know, 30 years, they're still fine to make me feel guilty and down? You're not responsible for somebody else's happiness, even even, even your um, your parents, right? even your family. It's a hard thing, hard pill to swallow, right? Uh, point of view, what is my point of view on survival guilt? Survival guilt, I don't, I mean, I think, I think if you were to ask me, just think I never thought about that, but I feel guilty for living when somebody else has died. Uh, this, this comes down to self-acceptance, right? Unworthiness, right? I'm not worthy to live. How come I lived and they didn't, right? You become okay with that and now you won't have, to have guilt. You won't have a guilt of I lived and they didn't. Everything's in divine order just as it should be, right? <laughs> Um, so, um, I, you know, how do you stay in the frequency? Here's what I do. I don't try to stay in the same frequency. I don't. If y'all figure out how to do that. Let me know. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't try to stay in the same frequency. I just try to be aware. There's days when I dip down into fear. I dip down into anger. I dip down into shame. I dip down into guilt. I'm aware though when I'm down there so I can use it for what it was intended for. The triggers weren't for you, for anything else other than you, right? So now. I don't, this is what I used to do. Man, I just want to stay in that, you know, high vibration. No, I'm not trying to stay in a high vibration. I got to go down to the low. I want to go down to the low because the low is going to help me to become aware of what's inside of me that I was unaware of. So I, I like, I like to grow. I like to evolve. I'm staying high. I'm not evolving. I'm not growing. I got to dip down. And this is why it's a wave. Ah, everything's a wave. Everything's a wave. You're high vibration. You go down low. But when you go down low, it's teaching you what you need to do to go back high. When you go back up high, it's affirming what you learned when you were low. So we only want this. That's the ego. Right? You got to have the yin, the yang, dark, light, feminine, masculine, good, bad. You got to have them together. Right? They, go, they, roll, they roll in pairs, the package deal, the bundle. Uh, life is not worth living if you're scared 24-7. Yeah. Awareness. That's the game. That's the game. Awareness. 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 Figure out yourself. That's it. Figure out yourself. Who's coming to MindFest, though? I got to get ready to get out of here. Are you coming to MindFest? Are you coming to MindFest? DG MindFest is coming in October. We're about to get it in. I'm telling you, it's going to be amazing. DG MindFest, October 18th, 19th, and 20th. All these questions that you're asking, I'm going to break all of this stuff down. We will have a panel. Like, you'll literally be able to just ask me questions. You're going to eat. We're going to eat. We're going to hang out. DG MindFest is going to be the new wave. I'm telling you. You'll want to be there because you'll be like, yo, I was there at the first one. I remember before we sell out when we go to Madison Square Garden here in about five years. And we go to the O2 Arena in London here in about five and a half years. You'll be like, yo, I was at the first one in Indianapolis. And now here we are at the O2 Arena. I remember, right? You want the, if you want the details, comment MindFest. Comment MindFest. It's October 18th, 19th, and 20th in Indianapolis, Indiana. You get in that Friday. Hey, we got a three-hour seminar. I'm going to break down everything for you. We'll eat dinner together. Everything is right there at the hotel. Uh, then we will have the next day about six hours worth of things where I'm going to break down, you know, manifest. I'm going to, I'm going to bring the donkey, right? Money, um, uh, healing, uh, uh, metaphysics, uh, spirituality, religion, everything, everything. It's going to be – so Combat Mind Fest. You will not want to miss it. And then on the 20th, which is Sunday, that morning, I'm having a DG MindFest only book signing. DG MindFest only book signing. DG MindFest only book signing. My book will be released only to participants that are in DG MindFest. If you're not in DG MindFest, you're going to have to wait till November to get it. But if you're coming to DG MindFest, I will have copies of my book. And on that Sunday morning, we're going to have uh, a book signing. And also, we'll have some apparel there you guys like this we got some we got some uh life is mental uh sweatshirts coming in uh that will be there they won't be white though they will be cream colored right because my wife's like i don't wear white and women don't wear white after certain so you need to start thinking about women how what they wear they wear cream they wear, was, okay all right cool we'll get cream That's, we'll get cream you got it you got it boss lady so uh we will have all of that there so um the book is exciting. The book you will, we're finishing up the artwork that goes inside of the book. Uh, yeah. 
So I don't, uh, you, you, you'll only be able to, uh, yes, earth tones. That's what she called it. I'm like, earth tones? What is that? Uh, earth? I don't know. I know. I didn't know what it was, right? I'm a man. I wear, I wear whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't put too much thought into what I wear. So, um, DG Mindfest. If you want to come to DG Mindfest, I'm going to throw you a bone. Save some money. Join the DG Mindset community. If you're not in the community, DG Mindfest tickets are $750. They're $750 to come to DG Mindfest. That's the ticket to come. If you're in the community, the ticket is $200. And you can join the community right now, and it's free for your first 30 days. Join the community. Oh, and you're going to get information and all the courses and everything you have access to in the community. So comment community. Comment community if you want to come to DG Mindfest and save $200. Uh, if you want the Tulum information, comment retreat. Or you can go to the link in my bio. Um, we're going to be wrapping that up here soon. I have a feeling that's going to sell. We just had somebody buy a Tulum package yesterday. Um, those will be – if you're looking to do healing, then this is – yeah, y'all ain't trying to hear this discount. Y'all ain't trying to hear nothing. Y'all be like, oh, well, you cost too much. I'd be like, I be I'm trying to give you deals. <laughs> I try. What do you want me to do? I'm giving you like $500 off for a ticket? 200 bucks? You go show me where like Jay Shetty, Danny Morrell, uh, who else? Tony Robbins. You go show me with it. There's no way. There's no way. So join the community. My whole intention with the community was to put so much information. People would be like, yo. I'm getting over on this guy right now. That's how I want you to feel when you get in the community. I want you to get in there and be like, yo, this dude's only charging me twenty dollars a month for all this. What? You're gonna feel like, damn, like <laughs> what? That was that was that was that was it. So um you all keep going. I gotta go. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you for sharing time with me. Uh keep being accountable for your life. All right. Start little things, little things, facing your demons, writing them down. Um, you can book the hotel that we're at. Um, if you go in the community, uh, somebody and put on the wall, somebody will, um, send, they'll, they'll put wherever, uh, the, the hotel is, but yeah. Thank you all. Love you all. Appreciate you all. Hey, Maria, I got to go. Y'all keep going. See ya.